Today we join together in breaking ground for these two great museums that will showcase our past and present our future for generations to come. These two museums standing side by side will be the basis whereby we will understand what it means to be Mississippians and Americans. We have an opportunity when people come in to visit the two museums and to, to seek out other cultural opportunities throughout the state, they not only have a great experience, they learn why we love this state so much. We've got such a broad story to tell uh, from the inception of our state, the Native Americans and all of the people who have brought this state to where it is. And the Civil Rights Movement is such a unique part of our history that it needed to be told separately. And we decided to do it that way. These museums are the centerpiece of the state's bicentennial celebration. When we open in December of 2017, uh, the eyes of the world are going to be on us. And what people will see is that Mississippians are telling our own stories, uh, that we're doing it honestly, telling these stories in all their complexity uh, through the many different perspectives of the people who lived them, and that we're doing it through an extraordinary coalition. We've had four governors supporting this project, legislators across the political spectrum, corporate partners, foundations, the veterans of the Mississippi Civil Rights Movement, Choctaw, Chickasaw, teachers. Uh, it, it really is a, an amazing range of people who have all come on board this project. Much of economic and community development today evolves around the concept of creating experiences for visitors and competing for their travel dollars. The two museums will be a catalyst for creating opportunities to encourage people not only to spend their dollars here in the city of Jackson, but to seek other venues and opportunities throughout the state. We have such a rich history and culture and so many sites across the state for people to visit. So we'll tell people about these and point them to them and, and send people out to see the places where history happened. What we know is that when people visit an area, they don't usually come just to visit one place or an event. They want to seek other opportunities. Well, that's what this will be, a catalyst or an anchor experience, if you will, to our visitors to tell them about those places. And hopefully that when they leave Jackson, they'll make stops in other communities throughout the state and spend their travel dollars and help boost tourism for the state and many communities throughout the state. As I see it, the most important thing is that it will be the largest classroom in Mississippi. Young people all over the state, students will have an opportunity to come and visit, to look at their history, understand it, understand the challenges that Mississippi has faced. The media impact that we make when we open, I think, will allow us to reach more people. We're also raising private money to bring school children to the museums. Our goal is that every child will, be, will visit the museums at some point during his or her K through 12 education. To have such a broad-based coalition of people come together uh, to support this project, I think will make a very strong statement about where Mississippi is today. The Mississippi Legislature has been extremely generous in funding this project. The vast majority of the funds are provided by the Legislature public money. We've had very strong participation from our business leaders, individuals, corporations, also from foundations. We're very grateful for that support. Mississippi has a really wonderful story to tell. If you think about uh, the challenges that this country and our state have embattled, there have been some bad moments and some good moments. But to be able to sit back and embrace our history and tell in a way, we have a great opportunity to teach our young people very important lessons that they can take with them throughout life. These museums will tell a different story. We will be able to let the rest of America know that we will embrace our history, we will learn from our history and that the next generation people will be thrilled once they leave to understand that they too might end up in this museum one day. We get a wonderful opportunity to change what people think about us. We're known as the hospitality state 
And I think when people get a chance to visit us, they get a chance to experience that. And they say, hey, this is not only a great place to visit, this is a great place to do business.